I am currently rebuilding this CNC machine, a so-called CNC3040. But at the moment the machine is just a box of parts under my desk. Sometime soon I will put it back together. And to make sure that moving parts are precise and parallel I will need a dial indicator. Buying a new indicator from Amazon would be the obvious thing to do here. But I want to avoid ordering new stuff wherever I can. And so I looked around and found these sad looking but cute little things here on the German version of Craigslist. There was no description, but the offer did also not say that they are broken. And so I bought them for cheap. At initial inspection, none of them seemed to move, even a bit. One was missing its front glass and also the hand that counts the rotations. The other one looked better. I took both indicators apart and found that the main push rods had gone rusty and were stuck in the bearings. With some very careful violence and some WD-40 I got them free eventually. To get the push rods working again I started polishing the bearings with tissue and some buffing compound. After that I moved a narrow cotton piece covered in toothpaste through the bearings to get them to a shiny finish. I also cleaned up and polished the rods. That worked and at the end both rods were moving freely again. Then I took care of the other damages. The broken hand of the rotation counter was fixed by carefully cutting out a tiny piece of sheet aluminium and super gluing it to the leftover stub. The missing window was replaced by a round piece of plastic that was cut out from a larger sheet. I don't have the metal ring where the window was in originally and so I glued the new window to the existing turning ring. The other indicator had some damage on the inside that wasn't visible at first. The gear axles had gone rusty and the gears were stuck in their bearings. I had to carefully clamp down each gear and wire brush the rust off the axles. The bearings got polished by pulling a string through them. Both indicators were then cleaned up with alcohol and put back together. Oh um, here is Joe from editing the video. I guess I should explain how my indicators work. The push rod interacts with the gear train via this edge. It pushes against a round disc that moves a gear segment up and down. That segment turns the right large gear via a small one. The gear is connected via another small gear in the middle to the left large gear and the middle gear turns the large pointer. The left large gear is spring loaded to take up the backlash of the mechanism. The spring gets tensioned when the indicator is in resting state and when the rod is pushed in it is that spring that turns the wheels. I actually had to clean all gears of that indicator before it was reliable again. And now both of them work fine. I still need to 3D print some clamps to hold them and maybe find extension rods. But in any case, they will come handy soon. See you next time.